Hello and welcome, Virgo. This is your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, this is a general reading and it may not resonate with all of you. If you want a personal reading with me, you can... Um, Look at the information that you need in order to get this done in the description box below. Now, what we do here, Virgos, we will look into your overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at your emotional course, if there's healing come in, coming in, um, love that needs to happen, or that's coming in, that kind of stuff. And then we will look at the... Oh, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> we will look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October 2023. So now remember before we do any of these things we're in the month of October and October is the number 10 slash the number one. So we're in the energy of doing stuff ourselves. So no matter what the guides are saying to you you have to be progressive and, and active about stuff. So should the guides tell you to sit back and do nothing then you have to do this with the same conviction as if you were out there to do stuff. So remember, you know, that every time we're living, we live in has its own energy. And October, by default, has the energy of progressiveness to it. Now, are you ready? Let's have a look at what the guides are saying to you um, for the months ahead. And I'm asking them to give me all the information I need um, for the different topics that we have here. Or the different sections that we have. So let's have a look. I asked them for uh, two cards each. If that makes sense, let's see what we got. Wow, okay. <laughs> so let me just put them here. I think this time around I will actually show them to you. Sometimes when I have to show cards it sort of stops the flow of the reading, but um, that doesn't seem to be the case. So anyway, with regards to the overall energy, um, I already mentioned this sort of in the introduction and it has come uh, uh, forward here also in the cards. You have the Sun and the South Node with regards to your overall energy for the months of October 23. Now the Sun is what gives us all energy and drive, but the card here has the number 18, 1 and 8 is 9. So what you are asked is, because 9 is the number of completion, is to literally Look at what needs to be finished, what needs, what has to come to an end um, and then attempt to figure this out and to not prolong what isn't working for you. This is important because your next card is the South Node. So the South Node represents karma but also represents the past. I'm not getting a lot of karma here or karmic stuff here for you, Virgos, luckily. But what they're asking you to look at is in situations that probably have happened uh, or have been in your life for quite some time and are just not going anywhere, that sort of stuff. So when you have the past in the South Node, even though it can go back quite a bit, I do not get ancestral stuff for you at this point in time. Now, this is a general reading and for some of you this might be about family, but it's not what I'm mainly getting here, energetically speaking. This is more about you as an individual. I'm not saying it's not about family, but it's not about the plurality of family. This feels like a one-on-one. -on -one. So what I'm getting is for you to look at the, in the, the, the situations that aren't working, but then, you know, in the proactiveness sessions, uh, energy here is pick the one that you find really is the most damaging of all and put that to rest. Um, and because you have the South Node, which is semi-karmic, if that makes sense, well, it's not semi-karmic, but I'm not getting the full karmic energy here. So that's why I call it semi-karmic. They're asking you to be determined, to be direct, but not harmful. So if you hold grudges and then you kind of go like, okay, before I leave, I'm going to rip your head off, Right, um, you may have 
reason to feel the way you feel, but it is not helping in putting things to rest because then someone else will hold grudges, even though you're not responsible for what other people are doing. The point is things need to come to an end because they're not going anywhere. And with that knowledge, it's going to be a bit more, uh, a bit easier to actually let that go. And your job is just to reflect on what isn't working. Pick the ones that you know haven't worked the longest, if that makes sense, and go right for them and you know do more than just attempt to let them go okay that was your overall energy for the months ahead which also means if it's the overall energy shit will just flare up whether or not you want to look at it or not then when it comes to your emotional core quite interesting because we have another uh, um energy of being proactive which in this case is aries so aries is the first house which is self but uh, so it's all about making sure that you are looked after in your relationships now this may sound a bit personal but the eighth house is a lot about lust and also sexual pleasures and that's what i'm getting so for some of you they're asking you to reflect on um, the eighth house energy um, and yourself and that sounds a bit weird but what i'm getting is for virgos reflect on what is happening in the bedroom or what has happened in the bedroom that now may make you feel like mm, this isn't as pleasurable as i wanted to or maybe there's old stuff uh, that that keeps coming up for you so the point here is this in this energy here is all about understanding in order to sort it there has to be new uh, communication and the and the card that has the eighth house here has the number 46 six and four is 10 slash one new beginnings now the word on this card is mystery and that also could mean for some of you that maybe you do have fantasies that are sort of sexual fantasies and with aries it's not just to act on them unless there is consent but to to literally be forthcoming and, and have conversations about it. Now, remember, this is a general reading. This I, I get it. This does not resonate with all of you. But this is about what, what, whoever sees this video and feels that when it comes to sexual pleasure, you have none or you have little or you feel, you know, it's always the same thing. Um, it won't change until you tell your partner, partners, whatever you do, or your own hand, whatever they do, you do, um, to make changes, if that makes sense. Really, really important. This is just about reflecting. How do I truly feel? And then everything is communication. You know, if you can't even talk about it, then possibly you're not as comfortable with the person you're with. See what I mean? So, bottom line is, in your emotional core, what you're being asked is to reflect on how do you experience physical, sexual pleasure, and if it's not so great, find a way to speak about it. Okay. And then lastly, let's look at opportunities as they come to you in the months of October 2023. For the sign of Virgos, you are watching Thomas Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, you have the North Node and Pisces. You had the South Node earlier. So the North Node is oftentimes seen as the future, but it really isn't. It's not, you know, the future is not written. What is written is cornerstone events. You come to a certain point, you can expect a certain growth. But because you have the, the, the North Node, which is about, you know, what is happening now with the energy of the future, when it comes to opportunities, what the guides are asking you to understand is rather than blindly repeating what you have already done, now it is time to see and ask yourself and reflect, is this really good for me? Does this really reflect me at all at this point in time? So whatever sustains you financially uh, or whatever it is you're doing, if that makes sense. And I'm getting this for a living here. Uh, so whatever it is you're doing, whether or not there is a financial uh, aspect to it or not, you should only be doing what really fulfills you and not compromise along the way if you do something that you do for others and then somehow in order to get to what it is you actually do for others there seems to be um i don't know things attached right 
um, then make make them known because you do this for others. So you have the right to do this for others without being impeded somehow yourself. And I'm getting the imagery that I'm getting is quite simple. I'm just getting a person that is a, a therapist of sorts that um, has clients booked in and, um, you know, and there's a, a designated parking space and they can't even park their fucking car there because another car is blocking it. So the point is, you know, in order uh, for you to work there, you don't want to come uh, early half an hour uh, and then chase people whose car is this. It's just what I'm getting is that 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 is in order for you to have access to do your work the best you can. Um, look at who is having um, who is putting um, obstacles in the way and address them. But I'm getting this address them directly. Now, the reason why this is important is because the outgoing energy here is Pisces. And Pisces is the sign of the dreamer. And Pisces is saying to you, you are very sensitive. So when you go somewhere where you have to repeatedly, that sounds wrong, cause trouble just to do your work, you will be the one that is tired. You will be the one that gets anxiety for uh, because of it. And it just shouldn't happen. So again, if you are a person that is just on the on the on the verge of entering into a new job of sorts, um, and this comes up already, because I do believe that when people find the readings, then Whatever the guides are saying here is, some of it is for you. Otherwise, you would not find the reading. I do believe strongly and firmly that there is no coincidence. That being said, if you are a person that is just on the verge or interested in making changes, the same applies. Right? Use your intuition. You can sense and you sort of have a knowing if whatever you go for already feels good or not. The issue that you have as an imprint that is Virgo is that you function quite well under stress. And oftentimes that means that Virgos speak up late. That is one of the things you really ought to change because once, you know, I always have, a, have an analogy for this. If you cook for me five times a week, I let you. So if you never intend to cook for me, don't bring food, right? So the point is that sometimes your kindness does not get repaid. And ultimately, what the guides are saying to you, um, you already know what feels good and what isn't feeling good and what doesn't feel good. And if there is a chance to change things a little in order for you to actually work there and for yourself more proficiently, then why not go for that? Okay, Virgos, thank you so much for watching. Before I let you go, I just want to highlight that I'm a consecutive producer for a magazine called Brains, for the Brains magazine. The link to the magazine is in the description box below. And um, I'm writing a lot of articles for the mindfulness uh, or mindset um, section in that online magazine. I would, be lo would love for you to read this and hopefully get a bit of guidance, extra, uh, extra guidance um, outside of this channel. So um, it would be nice you know, once I put all the work in and, and, and they then publish it um, for people to actually read it, right? So you find that in the link below. Thank you so much. That's all I got for you. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.